Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything we do no matter where we're doing it. Brett, where are we today? Triple B, Brett's Brickyard Beast Row. The Beast Row. That's right. My mayor of Sabertown present and we are so geeked for this one As today. is the rest of the council. <laughs> That's right. I'm the council. <laughs> it is the council. <laughs> what are we cooking up today, my guy? We are doing an amazing stuffed burrito for breakfast. A breakfast burrito. I could have just said that. <laughs> you could have. And you know, we've done several burritos. We've done a few breakfast burritos. Yep. Several months ago, a good friend, Tanner Reynolds, had made me this breakfast burrito with some hash browns in it. It was spectacular. He hasn't and stopped I've, talking about it since. I've wanted to recreate it since. Shout out to you, Tanner. Great job. This was excellent. This was amazing. Yep. And on top of it, it's been requested lately. So we had somebody recently say, hey, I'd love to see you guys do a breakfast burrito with some hash browns. It sounds silly. One of those small things, a little oversight. Yep. While we've made them before, we've not done it for the channel yet. So we thought time Here to throw we some are. hash browns and the breakfast burrito and give us another excuse to make a breakfast burrito. While we know hash browns are in there, Adam, why don't I get to the groceries? Let's get to the, oh, also though, before we get to the groceries, we just want to tell you, please stick around till after we cook. We do have a special mail time segment. We've got some goods that we want to share with you. So Brett, go ahead and get to the groceries. Here we go. I didn't watch you film, so I'm just going to say, <laughs> as you can see, what bunch of the ingredients that are going into this from these large, burrito tortilla shells, uh, Johnsonville sausage links we're gonna mm -hmm. cut up. We got this ham steak we're gonna cut up into cubes. We've got crema that we've used yes, avocado. avocado crema. We just made this just we've prior. Mexican style cheese. We've also got Texas Pete hot sauce. We're gonna be using on for a little heat kick and we're also using American cheese for creaminess. And now a uh, yeah. new addition, a newcomer to this, tater patties. Right, the tater <laughs> patties because we were gonna use tater tots. Oddly enough, they didn't have any tater tots at the store but we love these tater pa yep. patties. So once they're crisp up, but we'll cut them down just a little bit before we toss them in. Avocado crema, super simple. We used about a tablespoon and a half of sour cream, two avocados, salt, pepper, and lime juice. Mix them together for this fantastic one. Brett's already getting ready to glove up, so let's switch the angle so you can watch us slay the beast in the beast right, First things first, we're gonna go ahead and lay down our tater patties. They're gonna take probably the longest, those in the sausage. It's yep. just kind of a step-by-step -step process, but it goes pretty quick. So we're gonna go ahead and toss those down. Adam, and don't. <laughs> Adam uh, Got the adult help here, opening these up. I appreciate you, buddy. That's what I'm here for. Brett, you know one thing we didn't think about? What, Adam? We salt and peppering these, or should we use the, the oh, fry seasoning? Oh, yeah, go, yeah, we're gonna use the, we're the gonna Joe's, use the Joe's, Joe's fry, fry seasoning. seasoning. All right, when we do potatoes, one of our very favorite things to put on, whether it's fries or these hash browns, is Joe's fry seasoning. So this stuff is so good. Thank you, Wade Williams, Yes, thank you, Wade Williams, again. again. Good friend of ours. This, uh, oh, man. Just get some nice, good seasoning on our taters. All right, and Brett, you know what? While that's going, let's go ahead and let's get our sausages. Yes. In fact, I'm gonna turn this on. So this burner has not been on, which is okay. We've got some residual heat. Good time to go ahead and put those down. So Brett made a good call. I turned this burner on. We turned it off because this is gonna be our warming station. We're just gonna get our sausage going right here. Yes. Actually, Love you know what, Adam? Sizzle. Yeah, I was wondering. I was wondering. I wasn't gonna say it. Let you do your thing. Figure it out on your own. Figure it out on your own. That's how people learn and grow, Adam. Didn't you have some tongs? I did. Let's, let's tong this bad boy. Adam's tonging. <laughs> I'm tonging today. I'm gonna tong these up. Get these in a line, and we'll just start. Basically, all we gotta do with this is just brown it and cook it up. So we'll just cook and turn, cook and turn. Turn and burn. Uh, the uh, potatoes flip. We're gonna season the other side. And Brett has got a new fun job that he's discovered. Yes, it's my hot dog roller minus the roller, but I'm rolling them anyway with this big long spatula. Spatula? Very satisfying. SpongeBob. It's therapeutic. <laughs> All right, I'm just about done with this and then we'll move on to the next step. That's it. Yep. What we got going on and right now. All right, sausage is just about done. So we're gonna move it over here where it's gonna continue to cook in the warming side of the griddle. All right, so Brett's moving those. We've also turned up the griddle on this side to get these patties crisp up. But Brett, let's leave that. Let's go ahead and toss the ham cubes in that. Yep, you got it. All right, ham cubes. Apparently, I'm just gonna dump this wherever, willy-nilly, if you will. Yep. Willy-nilly Nelson. Obviously, the ham is already cooked, so we're just warming it up. It's that's really all. really warming it up, and we wanna crisp up some of these edges. And that's it. We're crisping up some of the edges. So all we're gonna do is brown these up. We're gonna continue the patties and then Brett, it's just egg time and then bill time. That's right. And which is always a good time. Always a good time. When you're cooking with the Wild Twins, it's 
always a good time. And your family. And your family. <laughs> All right. All right, so we're gonna get the ham cubes up and get the hash browns pulled, get the ham cubes pulled, and uh, get ready for the next phase. All right, hash browns right there. Can I get all four? Yes, I can. There you go, dude. All right, so now we're now, just real quick. The the what looks to be burned on the hash browns, that's actually the seasoning yep. that got uh, darkened up on the griddle. So yep. it's gonna get it nice and crispy. All right, we're just gonna sear these. We just wanna get a little, little quick sear on some of these that didn't quite get there. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get to the eggs. All right, so the sausage is, now it's uh, crisped up. It's crisped up, it's crisped up a little more. <laughs> it's hard to say crisped up. Crisped up. Chris, Chris <laughs> up. I'm just gonna prove you wrong and then I can Chris say it. All right, Boom. so we got the sausage and now we're gonna clean the griddle surface real quick. Yep. Uh, spray it down with some water, take a couple of seconds and then we'll get the eggs going. All right. Be careful. Okay, so we're gonna get the butter down, Brett, get the eggs ready. You got it, dude. All right, so we just turned this side on because it is the cleanest area. Brett didn't want to do a, a full clean just yet on the griddle, so we're gonna cook right here so you can see it's just now starting to come to temp. And another thing to keep in mind when you're doing eggs, you want them cooked on a lower temperature anyway, yes, otherwise they'll burn really easily. So. Yes, so let that melt for a second and then we'll get the eggs. Butter is sufficiently melted. And one of our favorite things to do on this surface right here is eggs because of how beautifully they get cooked. Mm -hmm. You can go a little bit quicker than that. Mm -hmm. It's gonna push out that way, which is what we want. All right. So because it wasn't on, it's gonna cook a little bit quicker over here. All right, we got it. Yep, there we go. All right, just finishing these up. And then the last thing left to do for us is just to B-roll and build these, build and then it. we're gonna grill them. Yep. Or griddle them, if you will. That's right. All right, we'll get these eggs going and uh, we'll pull it. All right. Brett, I think we're just about ready for some B-roll. Yes, we are. Let's do this. All right, so back to the, we're back to the griddle. And these are monsters, so we're gonna do our best to make sure we lay them down. Now, Brett, we're going to lightly layeth the presseth down. down. You know, not too much pressure. Very easy. <laughs> that thing's heavy enough as it is. All right, so they open up just a little. This is me and Brett being ambitious. We really wanted to get these big, but that's all we gotta do is lightly lay the press again for another 20 seconds, and then we're gonna pull them and eat them. That's right, I'm here for that. All right, well, there it is in, in all, all its glory, glory. and I gotta say, I'm, I was like, you're gonna say nothing. I got, and I gotta say. I could have said it better myself. <laughs> nothing, there was nothing that I could have said in the moment. By the way, don't forget to stick around for our, um, uh, for our, for our mail time. We can't wait to get to that. But like we say, it can, it can look, look amazing. amazing. Um, yeah, it looks amazing, brother. Like we say, it can smell amazing. <sighs> can I get a smell yeah? Smell yeah, you can. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all for not. not. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Oh, I'm losing. We're, we're gonna dip into the crema here Carefully. that we made for this. Cheers, I'll lead to that, my, my brother. brother. <laughs> Packed with flavor. Oh my gosh. That crema. My gosh, that crema. The hash brown. Oh, I'm gonna try it with the hot sauce. Yeah, the hot sauce. Mm. A lot of cilantro and lime in the that pico. pico. Hold on, there's, mm. let me try with the hot sauce. Mm. Get a lot of the hot sauce mm. in there. That hot sauce is so good. Mm. Now, oh, you're trying to I want to do the crema and the sauce. Got the crema. 
We got the sauce, I'm dripping all over the place apparently. All right. Mmm. Mm. Okay. That's it. So many flavors and all of that. So good. Mm. One of the best, if not the best, breakfast burrito I've ever had. That was. It is so packed with flavor. From and the hash browns with the, with the Joe seasoning on it, the creaminess from both types of, well, <clears throat> Mexican cheese, yeah. like five cheeses. And, and then the, the American cheese. Right. Uh, the American cheese making it creamy. And now I wanted, I definitely wanted to do it with the um, with the ham cubes instead of bacon. I could have gone either way, but those ham cubes, yeah, you get such good texture and good flavor. Saltiness with the sausage in there. right now, and I've got the kick of that heat from that from that Texas, Texas Pete. Pete. A oh, little heat from the, the Texas Pete. Little kick in the heat from makes the Texas heat, heat. heat. The Texas Pete <laughs> gonna make you yeet, <laughs> yeet you out of here. Well, first we've got a letter from Knoxville, Tennessee. Now, one thing is we do have a PO box, and I was not able to go for a few weeks. So this one had been there for a little while. Super excited to see who sent us something from Na Knoxville. Oh man, wouldn't you know, it is Garrett the Griddler. Garrett the Griddler, man. Garrett the Griddler, love man. It. We, love, we love the support he's been giving us lately. So excited for that. Adam and Brett, thanks for all the hard work you do. You all help make the griddle accessible for all skill levels. Your videos never fail, and the care and effort you put into them is clear. YouTube needs more creators like you. Ah, oh, man. Man, and like you, Gary the Gr Garrett the Griddle, Griddler, don't forget to check him out. We'll put a link to his channel as well below. Garrett, thank you so much. This is making it to the uh, fridge, fridge right of here. Fame. That's right. Thank you so much, Garrett. Next, we have a package coming from Stephen Fox, another one that has been there for a little bit. Again, we apologize, Stephen, for not getting to this one sooner. All right, so. All right, hello, Adam. I'm gonna go ahead and add an and Brett to this. Okay. <laughs> been watching y'all for some time now when I seen your wow. video on Elotis, oh. aka Elotis. street corn. Oh, wow. uh, I just had to. I just had to send you the seasoning they Ooh. use in Mexico and the Rio Grande Valley in wow. Texas. Uh, I only live about eight to ten miles north of the border. Wow. Hope you enjoy, Stephen Fox. Steven. Oh my gosh! And guess what it is? Tahini. One of our favorites. Tahini. That's the yes. big stuff. We mix that this with the awesome. usual suspects, and that's how we make our street. Chicken, our chicken street tacos. So we love it. Thank you so, thank you so much, Steve. We actually love tahini and love, and we will use it for sure next time. We've yes, used, we will. We've used the chipotle uh, pepper, which was really good as well. But we'll make sure and use that. Thank you so much, Steve. And we really do appreciate it. So. We've, like we said, we had a couple. We've got another big package. This one comes to us from Brian Katrakis. Thank you so much, Brian. If, a, a Patreon, Patreon of ours. Thank you so much. If you want to learn more about Patreon, check out the link below. Brian, we appreciate you sending us this. All right, first things first, we got a letter. Yes, we did. All right. One of them and the other one. I'm the other one. I'm one of them. We thoroughly enjoy the recipes and family humor your, of your channel. Wow. I watch the videos daily for inspiration and wanted to send you a little gift wow. as a thank you. I hope you have a large computer desk, LOL. I also sent two of you, two of our favorite spices Ooh. for you to try out. Our family favorite meals have des derived wow. from your channel and we Thank have been, so much. and have been the core of our weekly meal planning. Keep up the great work, sincerely. Brian Kertrakis, P.S. My kids laugh hysterically when I belt out, layeth the, the smash it down. down. Brian, I bet you, you got it. it. Brian, thank All you right, so much for these kind Brian, words. Brian, the kids, the family, thank you for the kind words. And, oh Shh. my. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, this wait, you're holding? Okay. Here, oh, my God. This, this is like is, the coolest thing I've ever done. Shut, Shut up. up. There is no way. Are you look kidding this. me? This is, this has got to be one of the coolest things I have ever seen. And yes, I've got a massive computer desk. So, this Adam, is do we, go do we put it in the computer desk or do we hang it right here? Oh my <laughs> gosh, Brett, you can hang I yours. I actually have a, uh, a home studio. I work in radio and this will oh, absolutely man. go there. He's this even is, got our oh, dad, dad in there. there Thank the you. Aunt Joy. The thought that went into this, Brian, this is nuts. This is absolutely. All we do is twin. Are I you mean, come me? on. Thank Brian, you so Brian, much Brian. for this. This is this touching. Is unbelievable. From this when we did carpool karaoke. This is like our whole YouTube journey right here. It is. This wow. is nuts. This is uh, this is unreal. And even the logo in the middle, it looks better uh, than our original. No, no. Wow, this is Brian. This is we just... don't know what to say. We don't know what to say. You yep. and your family, thank you so much. Steven, thank you so much for the tahine and for the letter. We've got oh, we got some more. Some of the oh, by the way, oh the, yes, the seasonings. spices. So Sorry. seasonings. They got uh, Spanglish asadero, asadero chipotle blend. And That's this is gonna the be spectacular. I had to take one more bite between that. That was unbelievable. Like I'm so humbled. Yeah, I know, right? So humbled by all this. Let's scoot you in the, to frame here. Cool. 
absolutely love that we get to come do this and that we have found so many people who share the same passion and joy for griddle cooking that we do. It's, it seems like something small, but it's so great. Garrett, Garrett the Griddler, another great, uh, you know, somebody no, else we we're getting to know along the way. This is all, it all just makes it so much worth it and so much fun. Yes, uh, we do want, got to get up out of here. By the way, if this burrito gave you one more idea of something that you can throw on your griddle, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is through our merchandise. There's a link to that in the description below this video, as well as the cookbook. The cookbook. The epic griddle, outdoor, the, epi epic, outdoor epic outdoor griddle, griddle, griddle cookbook. cookbook. We can't even say it. I know. Our faces are on the cover, so we're our names. <laughs> we're so excited for that. But Brett, aside from coming to knock out this banger and apparently get some like, just like heart softening gifts. Yes, exactly. Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on.